Ah, Utah. Some think of it as the land of the canyons. And some think of it as the land of the Mormons or the Utes or maybe the land of the few. Because in many places, it's there's not a lot of people around. But we also should think of it as geologically significant. Utah's geology is probably much more uh, diverse and interesting than most people even realize, uh, aside from the stunning canyons and colorful formations and the world-renowned national parks that are built around these formations and bring in a lot of tourists. And of course, there's the dinosaurs and the Mesozoic layers. Um, We might also forget to think about Utah's colorful mining history. It's, it's not usually the image that comes to mind when we're thinking about the more famous things like gold rushes, but Utah has actually had its own kind of mineral rushes, actually more in the range of black gold rushes. Um, Utah is a treasure trove of interesting and valuable mineral resources. Um, one thing to think about is radioactivity. There's a lot of interesting places people might know about. Yellow Cat, Moab area, Green River, and the Four Corners regions. Um, Very well known for uh, radioactive mineral resources. But but there's also the black gold. We typically think of oil. Um, But there's some other black gold we could say, and that's in the form of uh, coal. And the Utah has some nice coal seams uh, that come from ancient inland swamps. I've been talking about coal here, so there's a whole video on coal if you want to um, learn about it. Uh, but Utah also has natural gas resources and even oil. Um, a lot of unconventional oil, some oil shale resources have been uh pretty popular in these parts lately and will continue to be so. Now, this is an oil shale and it's not obsidian despite the way that it can look when it's broken, kind of shiny. It's also not coal. I know it really does resemble coal, but it's not. Turns out it's actually gilsonite. This is gilsonite. As you can see, it's a dark black substance. It's actually a solid hydrocarbon. I'll be talking more about interesting black rocks. In fact, I already have a video up here at Let's Go Geo all about coal. 